Hello, this is Dee Dee. Welcome back to the tutorial series I'm doing. This is the second episode in what I hope is going to be a long series. Today, we're going to look at it's quite a basic tutorial. Oops, drop some. Still, um, we're going to be looking at, first of all, importing clips. Second, we're going to look at basic audio and video transitions. So, like, yeah. And then we're going to be looking at altering those transition settings and syncing transitions to a song. Okay, let's get into it. So, firstly, I'm going to import uh, a file from my desktop, which is here. And I've, as in, I showed you in the last tutorial, you go to import files or folder. I would go to folder and go to desktop and files for tot, but because I just, I just think it's easier because I've got it all organized just to get it there and drag it straight in. So first thing I'll import is um, this song. It's Mission of Destruction. It's a pretty heavy dubstepy song. I'll click CMD and R because if, if you look at it now, that red bar across the timeline right there shows that it is unrendered so you can't preview it so if I, if I try and play it it'll cause just a beeping noise like that so what I want to do is click CMDR and just click OK to that and it will render the audio so now you can you now you can hear the audio obviously and you can also scrub through it so first thing I will do is go to my effects tab which is up here in the browser to effects and go to audio transitions which is there and there's only two here because there's not really much you can do apart from fade in and fade out transitions there's also filters but that we don't need that right now we'll look at that later um, so go to crossfade and what you do is you just drag it straight onto the timeline and if you drag it into the middle that will fade in and fade out so I'll put one at the start so you can hear it it will it will like ease in so the volume will slowly increase there, and the volume will slowly decrease at the end. See? Which is quite nice. So I'll just keep the first one on right now. And that's all we're going to do with that. Um, I'm now going to go back to my files for top folder and import my first video clip. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to move this down one track because it's getting in the way. Go to Dwayne Kilcam, it's a person's app I edited. Uh, so I will highlight both of these and click P which splits the audio from that from the video from that. So you can just delete that audio. So P again. And uh, no that's wrong. Oh well I've just got it automatically so it does that. Um so I will so once again we need to render it because I'll just mute them so you can't hear them. So re once again, like, I haven't rendered the video file, so you can view it, you can scrub through it and see parts of the video by holding the mouse and dragging through like I'm doing. So I'll click CMDR again and that will start to render it. We don't actually need all this, so I'm just going to cut out. So I'll go to click B to go to the blade tool and cut out probably about half. Half of that, so I'll click CMDR. I'll speed this up a bit so you don't have to watch the render. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Uh, so I basically decided because I can't bother to wait for the render to finish, I'm just going to cut that clip there and have it that long. So, what we probably want to do now is go back to our effects tab and go to video transitions. This folder here it should be in the same place for everybody. Go to video transitions, and we can choose a huge selection of transitions here. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll go to quite uh just it's probably the one I use most and it's fade in or out dissolve, so it's basically just um it will start it off black basically, it will start off the video completely see through or it'll the opacity will be at zero, which is like how see through it is. As you scrub through, if you look in this window over here, um as I go through slowly the video starts to you can slowly start to see the video appear or maybe not, I don't know what's wrong with this right now but yeah, see it slowly starts to fade in 
here until it's the opacity is at 100 and it's no longer see through at all and it's just there altogether. Okay, so I will put in our next clip which is the COD 5 man feed. Put this here. I'll just cut it to it that short by pressing the C again, no the B I mean, sorry, for the blade tool to cut it there. So I'll undo that. Go to click B, cut it about there, just click to cut, press P to go back to the pen tool, select the clip you don't want and press backspace to delete it. So now you've got another unrendered clip. I'll go to the effects tab again and I want to see between this it will just go straight from that in that frame to this in the next frame so I want to choose another transition so they kind of fade together so I'll go for let's go for additive dissolve and what I do is basically just drag it onto the next clip and it'll look like it's the one clip but when you drag it in it will create quite a nice fade between so you can see them kind of if you look over here, you can see them sort of fading into each other. And one slowly disappears, and the next one slowly re it, like, fades in. Okay? And there's different things you can do to truly transition. So I'm just going to, so if you click and drag like you would do on the computer, just highlight the transition and backspace to delete it. I'm going to dip to color dissolve just to show you another transition. So this one. Basically, we'll dip to the color black automatically, and then so it'll change to there in the middle of the two frames, and then it'll slowly um, change from black to the color of the the like the clip itself. So I was next going to looking at the settings of the transitions. So I will highlight the transition just by clicking, holding the click, and dragging down over the transition. Then right click to click open to dip to color dissolve, it's right here. So you click that, and this window will appear in the viewer. So basically, you've got loads of um, got loads of settings you can adjust to just change the way it acts, basically. So I would like to just say I'd like to, to dip to the color white. I would click on this box, not this box, sorry, <laughs> this box here and I can change the brightness on this side and the color so I'll change it to white uh, let's get it let's get it right in the middle there it is so if you drag it to the top it'll be white and you'll notice that in between the two clips now there's a frame of just complete whiteness and it will fade from the original clip to the color white and from the color white to the next clip uh, there's lots of things you can do, so you can change the softness, so you can make it more harsh the whole way through, so it'll be more white, and it'll, it'll just, the whiteness will basically last longer, and it'll be less, I don't know, the only way to describe it is soft, so it's hard to describe, and threshold here is basically, yeah, you do it down, dissolves a bit away, and you put it right up, and yeah, it's, you just have to mess around with these settings, I'll change it back to the original one. You basically have to mess around with these settings until you find the one that you want. So next I'm going to show you how to sync the transition. What I mean by sync is make it basically make it the transition change exactly when I want it to. So I'll click if you double click on the audio, it'll bring up this waveform and sometimes it opens you in this filters tab, you just click this tab up here, you go to stereo and then you have this window here. So basically what we want to do here is mark out the point in the video which we want the transition to change. So we want so that we want we'll want the second clip to come at an exact point. So say we want if we look at the video the audio right here and say if you look at it really closely you'll see that there's peaks and that is where the drum beats are so I'll click I'll just put the um, yeah I'll put the scrubber over an audio peak and then click the letter M so M on the keyboard and that creates a marker 
right here. So you can see that in the audio in the audio track there is a marker on both. So and that is the point that we want it to, to have completely changed from one to the other. So what I would do to do that, I would click again, go to highlight dip to highlight the transition, right click and go to dip to color open, dip to color dissolve. So click that and it's here. And as you can see it shows the cursor here and that is exactly the same place. So basically that is just a more zoomed in version of just the transition. And what we want to do is we want the end of this transition to be where the cursor is. So we go up here and we go to the right hand side because that's the side we're going to reduce. And we will click and hold and just drag it to the cursor and it should snap like it will it will stay exactly where the cursor is like if you pull it across it will stop on the cursor and if not you need to click this button over here and this turns snapping on and off right here or you can just click N on the keyboard so if snapping was off uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't snap to this cursor it would just you can put it anywhere really and it's more like you can make more exact put in a more exact place pretty much and um, as you can see if I make this longer it makes the transition in the timeline longer. If I make it shorter, it makes it shorter, obviously. So I'll turn snapping back on by pressing N on the keyboard. Move it over until it snaps into place where the cursor is. So now, as you can see, it will go white in the middle. So in the middle of this and this, it will be completely white. So that's what it wants to do. Right there. And when by the time it gets to this audio peak where we put the marker it will be completely gone um, yeah so it's just the ridge it's just the final clip uh, I'll render it out and show you what it looks like it won't be it's not impressive at all it will just literally be one clip fading in the audio fading in um, it fading the two clips fading into each other so it'll fade to white and then to the next one and then yeah that'll be it and I just realized I'm not rendering at all I'm just rendering the transition so what I need to do is make sure that you select it all so either click command A to select it all or just click CMDR so I'll be right back once I'm I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it and here it is, here's the finished product. So we'll watch this through. It's a little bit laggy, but you get the idea, so it will turn snapping off. So you just you will click and drag through it, it'll change to white, and then to that thing exactly where we wanted to. And that is successful. That is it done. Well, I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, like and favorite if it helped you, and subscribe for the next one, which will be it's going to slowly get more advanced. So as you get more used to it, I will bring out more advanced things. So this has been Didi. See you guys later.